so hopefully it's working this time. I just had a little bit of a false start there. Um, the yeah, the internet was gonna crap out on me again, which you know is exciting because that's what happened last time. But I turned off my Wi-Fi and I'm going on 4G only, kind of far from the uh, the router right here. But anyway, so today uh, is gonna be a character spotlight. Uh, before I get into that, I have a couple announcements, and um, I'm also having a couple pregnancy complications that I would love to get feedback from you on. And some of them aren't pregnancy complications. So if you're a guy, well, there's only two, but if you're a, if you're a guy, uh, and you've heard of it, then let me know either of these things. And but before I go into that, um, so Demon of Darkness is available for pre-order. That's coming out on January 14th. And I send it to my Arcast team today. I'm pretty excited about that. And, uh, it's, kind of explodey and awesome. I'm really excited. I, it was a lot of fun to work on. My editor had me make a bunch of changes that will uh, have strengthened the story, and I can't wait to hear what you guys think about it. But that's on pre-order, and if you want some download bonuses, then go and download it. Or go pre-order it, and I'll explain how to get the download bonuses here soon. Uh, but basically, the download bonuses will include a, an illustration of one of the hounds. Um, it'll it's specifically Connor, but it's one that my husband did. And you'll see in Demon of Darkness why I wanted to have him do a drawing of one of the hounds. Because, well, let's just say that Lord Kanan had something up his sleeve with some of those, those uh, animals. I'm pretty excited about it. And then another one. Let's see what's another download bonus. Um... I, I commissioned another artist um, a couple years ago to create logos for all four elements. So wind, earth, um, water, and fire. And that's those are going to be download bonuses. So you can have your very own custom Arate logo for whichever element is your favorite. I'm trying not to rock back and forth. I've noticed I do that. <laughs> I should probably get a non-swivel chair for these things. But... Anyway, I wanted to also say thank you to my Patreon supporters. Um, let's see, I've got a list here of names, and I hope they're okay. I'm only going to give first names, so I hope you guys are okay with that. But I've got Virginia, Tracy Ann, Sandy, Melissa, Jane, and Erica. And thank you so much to you guys for supporting me on Patreon. Um, I'm a little bit sad that there aren't any men. Like, where's the love, guys? <laughs> But anyway, so thank you guys for supporting me on Patreon. Those stories are going to be coming out here soon. I've got them all finished, ready for my editor. And one of them is called Defending Lizzie, and it's when she's unconscious and healing, and Nicole gets attacked by hounds while, while defending her. And it is it was a lot of fun to write. It includes a hound having to permanently kill another hound, which is something that's never... Um, never explored in the series. And then the other one is about Coolidge and his restart and how he got started there. And he actually had a ma magical diagnosis, not a magical, a medical diagnosis that tell him, told him that he would never be able to access his powers. And of course, he's not okay with that. So anyway, so those are the stories that are, are going to be coming out here in the next week or so for Patreon supporters. So go support me if you want to get access to those. And let's see, we're going to go on to the character spotlight today. It is on Sanso. And for those of you guys who don't know him, he first shows up in the Kalenia Chronicles in uh, book two, Ember Gods. And he is part fire pulser and part human. He insists on be calling it, being called an Ember God. But a fire pulser is somebody who pulses flames from all of their pores. And he pulses fire from just his hands and his feet. And... He um, he wears black leather clothes. He has black hair that's about chin length. Jacob absolutely hates him because he's, you know, the villain of book two in this series. But in Nicole's series, she's forced to team up with him to fight um, a fire pulser. He actually has to teach her how to fight them. And Lizzie is like, um, not Lizzie, sorry, Nicole finds herself attracted to him. And he actually invites her to leave her family, leave her boyfriend, all of that, and go with him. And have to read the book to find out what happens. Um, but uh, my husband absolutely loves Sam, so he thinks he's hilarious. He's like, and I asked him, okay, so what are things that, you know, that are unique about Sanso? And his answer was, well, he's got awesome powers, his amazing looks and his, um, and his ego. <laughs> so he's attractive, yes. And then he is very egotistical and arrogant. And those characters are kind of fun to write. I don't know why I enjoy that, but it's, it's fun to write them. And Anyway, so let's see. He's had a sad, hard life. He uh, was born at the age of 10. He doesn't have any family. He's got a couple of um, Ember God's friends. Um, but you, yeah, you'll find out more as you read the series. I don't want to give away too much. And, but Nicole, or yeah, Nicole ends up having to go to his world 
at the end of um, the series and ask him for help again. And he at first thinks that she's actually coming to him because she wanted to leave her family and friends and, and Austin. But so he's a little disappointed to find out that's not true, but maybe it is true. <laughs> There's a little spoiler for you guys. Sorry about that. Anyway. Okay. So I did want to talk a little bit about and ask you guys um, about if any of you guys have ever heard of these kinds of complications and I've been talking to my doctors and they have no idea. Um, I, in my email on Wednesday, I told you that I was running off to the hospital to get testing done and the tests have come back. Okay. So basically I'll just explain to you the first problem I'm having, um, all over body muscle cramps and they're not painful and they're not like, um, anyway, so I'll, I'll get to that in a minute, but basically like if I close my fist, I can't open it. And if like I turn my head, it won't turn back. And it's like really hard to get it to turn back. And it's, they're worse in the morning. And when I take my prenatal vitamin, they, they get a little bit better. So we thought I was deficient in something, but when I got tested, they tested for everything. And they're like, you don't, I was a little bit low in calcium and potassium, but within normal ranges still. And so we're trying to figure out if it's symptom, a symptom of something else that's not pregnancy related. That whole hand thing. I've had that since I was a little kid. Um, my one brother who has MS says that's a symptom of MS, but since I've had it since I was a kid, the chances of it actually being MS are really low. And, uh, I mean, I do have two brothers who have MS and women get it twice as often as men. So that, that is a possibility, but I don't think that's what it is. So if you've ever heard of anybody who's had that problem and when I say all over, I mean like every single muscle in my body, it just, they cramp and they freeze and they won't release and it's not painful, but it's debilitating. And some days I can't move for a very long time. And some days the prenatal vitamin doesn't do anything and other days it helps. And I can tell that I've taken it. So that's the first thing. And then the second thing is sacroiliac joint pain. And I'm not going to explain what that is. Those of you who know what it is, you'll know right away what I'm talking about, but it's also been very, very painful. I only got an hour of sleep last night because it was so bad and pregnancy has made it worse, but I've had this problem for about 10 years now. And my joints are very loose and a lot of people have this pain. It's because their joints are tight. And so with my joints being loose, I don't, nobody knows like my, yeah, they don't know what to do for me other than having it get fused, which I don't want to have it fused anyway. So if you have heard of either of those kinds, either of those things, and if you know anybody who's had, who's um, experienced them, let me know and comment below or whatever. And then let me know below, um, who you'd like to have me do as the next character spotlight in a month. And I don't remember what we're doing next week, but I'm sure it's fun. <laughs> so yeah, go pre-order Demon of Darkness and support me on Patreon. And I will talk to you all later. I hope you're having a wonderful week and happy new year. Okay. <laughs> Bye.